All right, welcome back to Norton Tesla. Today's Tesla 101 lesson, we are diving into Tesla's unique climate control features. We are talking about keep climate on, dog mode, and camp mode. Let's get into it. Henry. All right, so I'm sure you've seen the three little icons at the side of the climate menu, and you may not be familiar with them. And even if you are familiar with them, you may not be familiar with certain unique features that differentiate the three. So let's explore how each mode works and how to use them effectively. So first up is keep climate on. Now with this mode, all you have to think about is essentially it's gonna keep the climate on. Everything else stays the same. So your car will lock, central mode will turn on, but your climate will be on. So situations where you might wanna use keep climate on, let's say you're getting groceries and you have another stop and you wanna keep your groceries cool, maybe put climate on and really lower that temperature so the inside of the car stays cool so that your groceries won't spoil. Another situation is if, let's say I'm going, I parked the car and I'm going, I know I'm gonna be about 15 minutes, but I don't wanna, it's really hot out and I don't really want the, have to restart the climate and cool the car back all the way back down. I might use keep climate on for that just to maintain the temperature so it doesn't go all the way up and then have to go back all the way down when I get back in the car. And one thing to note, like I said, with keep climate on, your locks and sentry will work as normal. So essentially you're leaving your car as normal, except that your climate will be on. Be mindful of that because if you live here for too long, your car will drop in rain. So next we have dog mode, which is designed to keep your pets safe. So there are a few differences between keep climate on and dog mode. The big one being that the center screen will display a message indicating the current temperature in the car and that your dog is safe. So hopefully any passerbyers that may notice your dog won't freak out thinking you left your dog in a hot car and they won't smash your windows. Things to note is that sentry will stay on. However, any sort of sounds like for the alarm will be disabled so you don't freak out your pet. Another thing is that your window switches are deactivated. So if your dog happens to step on them, they're not gonna roll down the windows and escape. And don't forget with dog mode, you can also check your interior cabin cameras from the mobile app to make sure your dog is okay. But remember, it's only meant for a short period of time and stay nearby. So finally, let's look at camp mode. Basically, the difference between camp mode and keep climate on is that all your electronics in the car will stay on. So that's your touchscreen and any USB ports. Uh, so let's think of a scenario where you're in the car watching a movie, not necessarily camping, but let's say watching a movie with your kids. If someone gets out of the car on the driver's side, then the touchscreen will turn off, which is annoying. Uh, so for any sort of watching movies, playing music, uh, keeping your phones charged on your USB ports, then you want to use camp mode. And one thing to note with camp mode though, is that your walkway door locks and sentry will be turned off. So if you are actually camping and sleeping in the car, you wanna make sure you turn on your locks uh, when you go in for the night. Now to activate any of these modes, you can use it through the car's touchscreen. Also, you can go through the mobile app with camp and dog mode and uh, obviously just turn them on, adjust the climate as you want, and then you're set. The only thing to note though is that it will not work with your battery under 20%. Drain all the way down 20%, the car will let you know. So whether you're running errands, hanging out with your dog, or even going on a camping trip, Tesla's really thought of these cool features to really help your Tesla experience be versatile and convenient. All right, thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and also check out my entire What Tesla 101 series, which you will get up here. And also don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss videos which I release about every week or so. Tons of awesome Tesla 101, Tesla tips, also some uh, product reviews for your Tesla. So be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Uh, anyways, thanks again for watching and uh, we'll see you next week. In the meantime, drive safe and drive electric. First towel. So whether you're running errands, hanging out with your dog or going quite. So whether you're running errands, going out with your dog, so whether you're running errands, hanging out with your dog, or even going on a so whether you're running errands, going on a so whether you're running errands, going on. All right, so I'm sure you've seen the three. All right, so I'm sure you've seen the three little icons at uh, the box. All right, so I'm sure you've seen the. All right, so I'm sure you've seen the little three little. All right, so I'm sure therefore, there are a few things that you may not know about that they each uniquely do.